Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Mengucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Hello everybody and welcome to the decks of the weekend. This edition is the 21st of November. Um, kind of a dry, uh, dry weekend actually since uh, Magic Arena was down so your Red Bull event wasn't held. Um, the, the standard deck I am I Lightning is uh, the one from the Pizza Box Open, a uh, 108 people event that started off on MTG Melee. This is a Grixis Control deck by Gerson67. The Grixis Control was a deck piloted by Nasif and uh, their team at Worlds with the Celestis as a piece of mana fixing uh, with Lear Control. Now taking Holebreaker Horror uh, in instead of Iron's Epiphany in this list. We see the Splash of Black for the Mythic Massacre as well as good removal spells, Moldering Egg and Goldspan Dragon to merge the two plants together. Um, there's also environmental sciences to fix the mana together with of course divide by zero since remember you can't counter spell so yeah that's fine Joar disruption but Lear um, goes very well together with divide by zero. Cyclone summoner still a very important tool against aggro uh, but yeah so for the control deck out there that you know, I want to also take a little a little drink, a little sip of that sweet, sweet value of expressive iteration and the, the dragons. This definitely could be the, the deck for you. Alright, let's go to Magic Online. Actually, no historic deck this weekend. No events were held. Next weekend, I will for sure. Actually, no, maybe the, the weekend after. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be the, 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 the arena championship soon. There's going to be standard and, and, and historic. So we're going to see lots of, uh, lots of historic content, I think, moving forward. Alright, this is modern. This is another wild deck. Whenever there's a Yorion, you know that something wild is happening and also all not like this. Many various four color decks are coming up these days. You have the Four Turn of Witness deck, uh, you have the uh, Yorios, you have the Omenath Control with Vran and Six. This is a, I don't know what to call it, you can call it brought back. White, white, instant. You choose two permanent cards that died this turn and you can return them to the battlefield. That can mean fetch land. So this card can actually ramp you up on turn two. You go land, fetch and go. On turn two, you go fetch, fetch, crack two, get, I don't know, planes and uh, whatnot, and boom, a brought back brings you back to fetch and you already are up two lands on turn two. So that's pretty nuts if that happens. If that doesn't happen, you can just, you know, block with something or like they kill your Teferi. Sure, you bring it back in the turn after they killed it or the combo. The big combo, the biggest combo with the deck, of course, is with the uh, Solitude and Fury. As uh, you can just evoke these guys, evoke the cheap uh, elementals, and then brought, bring them back. And they, and uh, and you haven't paid for a book cost, so they will just stick around. Of course, you have the memory too. So yeah, that's kind of the wild deck. Also, a showdown of the skulls in the mix. Boris card, so good for your pitch elemental and a very... Very good card with Omnath, lots of card advantage over here, right and six, of course, tying it all up together. In the next, uh, instead of historic, what I'm doing today is legacy. So uh, lots of talk for Ragavan banning legacy still that isn't happening, uh, that hasn't happened, and um, uh, who knows if will happen. Um, there's the Eternal Weekend happened. Events of uh, more than uh, 10 rounds each. Three events of more than 10 rounds each. Very, very big size. Um, Dubber didn't even put a stellar percentage in one, one event. And uh, the other event uh, was won by Elves. Instead of uh, pulling the deck out on uh, my own uh, uh, Magic Online, I'll uh, just yeah, show uh, Jörg Heinrich who won the... Uh, Bayou Eternal Weekend with with Bayou, so that's cool. So what happens mean that he will receive uh, the big card, the Eternal Weekend big card. Funnily enough, this person who won the event hasn't played against a single Ragavan. Eh? Two, three elves in the top eight, but yet yeah, that this person Yorg hasn't played against a single Ragavan in the whole top eight. All right, how does elves work? You probably know it already. Glimpse of Nature, draw, draw, draw. 
by your your elves. Alizar Shepherd is now the biggest deal since your natural order is now uncounterable. You can put into play Behemoth Win or Archon of Valor Grace. You have also Grace now for the mid range matchup. Um, sorry for the mid range aspect of the deck together with Greens and Zenith. You can tutor it up once upon a time to make the deck more consistent, drawing more of that Fredo. So, yeah, that's the deck. That's the deck that won the event. Elves did very well. And um, yeah, maybe. Definitely the, the a deck strong deck to consider if you don't want to go if you don't want to go blue, which um, is a very good color in Legacy. So yeah, that'll do it for my decks of the weekend. Stick around, lots of content on this channel every day, more than one video per day from my stream, just unique for the YouTube channel. But yeah, I'll be on the comments. So yeah, likes, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a message if you like any of these decks that I have highlighted, and uh, have a good one. Yeah.